Greek kingmaker General Condylis is dead, the man who was in turn Republican Prime Minister, Royalist Dictator, and last year brought a king back from exile. Greece has lost one of her great statesmen. The latest outbreak to claim the attention of London's fire brigade is at a Kilburn factory. Within a few minutes, the 300 workers are watching from a safe distance, while the men who spend their time murdering fires with axes, water and stout hearts do their stuff. All goes well, and it looks as if they're getting the blaze under control when the flames reach the paint shop, and then things begin to happen. But with modern firefighting methods, it's only a question of time. And after two hours, it's just another fire's funeral. When fog descends over the Northumberland coast, the British collier Ephra collides with a Portuguese tramp steamer. And the Ephra is so badly holed that her crew abandon her immediately, thinking that she'll sink within a few minutes. But later, the Ephra is found drifting with a heavy list and is brought into Bridlington Bay in a sinking condition. Now she's in the docks at South Shields, where it may be possible to repair her battered hull. Guy's Hospital students work hard, but they like to play hard too. So it's a big day when the Vice-Chancellor of London University opens their new sports ground. And then the boys celebrate with a rugger match between Guy's and Cambridge. This year's Guy's team is shaping well, so it looks like being a good match. The only trouble is that the ground is like a quagmire and the game turns out to be a mixture between rugger and a mud bath. Every time someone goes to gather the ball, he gathers a mud pie instead. In fact, it isn't necessary to run into touch. All you have to do is to lie down and slide over. One of the Italian industries that has been boosted by the imposition of sanctions is quarrying for limestone. And here they're lighting the fuse that'll start the Big Bang to bring down thousands of tons of rock from the cliff face. changing the face of nature. At the Nord Ski Club tournament, United States champions risk their necks trying for a new record. And so fast do they go down the steep slope that they only avoid charging the crowd by inches. But in ski jumping, there's many a champion rides to a fall. He's down. Laid out, but not hurt. And now it's all eyes up for the next run. Watch him as he comes over the top. He's down and making straight for the newsreel cameras. Over it goes, and that's another good film gone west. But the climax of the meet is Alf Engen's record jump of 195 feet. Here he comes. The style of a champion. <laughs> 